Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do day six of the foundations of makeup. So today we will be using the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. I got two shades. I got Buff Beige and Classic Ivory. Um, since it was summer, I was using Buff Beige, but when it was winter, I go back to Classic Ivory. So we are going to do Buff Beige since I still look a little tan and stuff. So we are just going to put that on my plate here, and one side is going to be the brush, and one side is going to be the Beauty Blender. I cleaned all of my brushes. Everything's cleaned. So I primed my face with um, the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer and the Pore Professional by Benefit. I love this. So, all right, we're going to go in. So we're going to just dab this around the face. And... And I hope that this is full coverage. I'm gonna go shopping today. I need to get a new brow pencil and I need to go Sephora. So I'm shopping today. And you guys are gonna come in with the check ins. And then we'll be coming back home and we'll be. Okay. Okay. Now we're back to I'm going to do the brush side. And I'm just going to use my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. My brushes are still wet. My Kabi brushes are wet, so. The neck, the ears, okay. Alright, so this is a drugstore. As I'm looking at this side that's almost dry, it has like a glow to it, which I really like. Um, I did have to build it up a little bit for coverage, which was fine. Not yet. So I'm going to do the rest of my makeup, and I will be back, and I will show you the final look. Okay. Hi right, guys, I'm all done. Eyes are done, lips are done, so we're going to go shopping and do a little running out and see how it holds up. This is the CoverGirl uh, Vitalist Healthy Elixir in Buff Beige. So this is Buff Beige on my neck. It went all the way down. It matches perfectly. Um, so we're going to go do some errands and I will be back in a little while. Alright, let's go. Hey guys, so it is now 2 o'clock. Um, I had lunch I had pizza a salad and a hard mics and to be honest the lipstick kind of kind of held up pretty well I'm kind of a little shook um I don't know which one it was I know it's around here oh yes yeah, it's the one it was the um BH Cosmetics I cannot read it Endora 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 I'll I'll I'll, I'll write it down below um but yeah the lipstick kind of held up really good I mean, you know, coverage kind of fell off a little bit, but it's still there. A little pink, little pig, little pigment, little pigment still. So, um, I've been wearing this since around 1030. So it's two now. So I'm doing my first check-in. It's about four hours halfway through. Um, the foundation has held up really well. Um, you can see a little bit of a pigment of my, uh, my, uh, red spot coming in. I'm not giving you guys a finger. So the red spot coming in and it is a little cracking around the, acne but other than that it's held up pretty good so I'm kind of a little shook it the cover girl vital the vitalist healthy elixir is really really one of my favorites so I use it a lot besides the Maybelline dream mousse which will be a tomorrow so so this is the end of day six I'm gonna wear this foundation for another couple hours and then I'm gonna take it off and 
get ready for the next installment. Um, I'm gonna sh tell you guys what I bought. I went to I went to Sephora and I was looking for the Hourglass foundation. Comes in a stick. It's like forty six dollars. They did not have it in the Sephora in JCPenney where I live, so I was kind of pissed because they had, they had all the new Fenty line out, but they didn't have the Hourglass, nothing. They had Smashbox, Fenty, uh, Benefit, Sephora, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Bare Minerals. They had all that other stuff, but they didn't have Hourglass, so you have to buy it through the Sephora Duo. Um, this is their bronze and pink beige, um, and these are creams guys so these are not powders they are creams so you can use your fingers or you can use a dry blue butter buff it in and then buff it in the skin like I did so I have it contour around here and then I have blush around here so I will swatch them this is the bronze right here and this is the blush so they are pigmented guys those are my dogs they are playing with each other unfortunately so that is what I did on my face today so um that is it and then the eyes I did uh the Jackie Hill palette which I put away now because I always put it away when I'm done with it so the Jackie Hill palette um I used but this is a new one that I got I'm really into elf I love elf I love their hydrating primer um so this is something new that I saw it had new on the box which is now on the new on it so I really want to try it out and I actually really enjoyed it. So it's really something, it's a cheap and affordable too. It's $6 and you get bronzer and you get a blush. Come on, that's not a bad price. And I love the mirror. So you can hold, you can do it like a little, like a little side mirror. It's really nice. Hold top. And I spent $48 and 52 cents. I got three things and one, I, so I got the Precis, uh, precisely my brow pencil um, in shade 3. I was at the store and I was playing with 3 and 4 and I was debating if I wanted to do 3 or 4. And then when I looked up I saw that 4 was gone. So I went with 3. Um, I did my brows today. But I do need to get them waxed. Now, if I could get it out of the damn curtain. Um, this is it. It's in 3. So you untwist it. Took me a while to figure this out. You untwist it and you pull, and then here's the. Turns around, so. So this is the color. Um. And I needed, to, and I needed to get a new one because, um, my old ones are almost run out, and I needed to get a new one. And this one I haven't haven't tried. And here's the sporker for the. Uh, so let's see how much product you got. 0 0.8 grams or 0 0.0002 0 OZs. So, you guys can see at the bottom, right there. If I said it right, and it says the ultra ultra defining tip, shapeless undefined brows filled in and defined. That's cool. We'll try that tomorrow, maybe. Okay. Next one I got is the Ultra Beauty HD Soft Focus Liquid Foundation in Natural Finish, and it's oil-free. Oil -free. And this is light to medium warm, so we're going to open it up, and we are going to swatch it and see how it is, guys. So they were almost out of these. This one was um, $14. Pump and it has a little cap. So fourteen dollars for the Ulta Ultra Ulta Ulta Beauty foundation, and I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. Um, it's light to medium warm, so we shall see if it is the coverage I'm looking for. All right, so here we go. Do it on this hand. Oh, don't spread out on me. Okay, so it is it, it, it is pretty um, liquidy, but not too bad. And I'm just going to blend it into my hand. My beauty blender. So, yeah, it's gone. You guys can't see a different pigmentation. So, this was probably my shade, which I usually 
I have trouble finding my shades, but I found it. So cool. So that is the second thing I bought from Ulta. And the third thing I brought, bought is I am running. Um, and now I have NYX. So this is a matte finish mini matte, a long lasting setting spray. So this was uh, $7.99, I'm guessing. Yeah, $7.99. So this is a, the, to me, this is a desire bag. Maybe not to all out there like Dior or Coach or any of that stuff, but this is a name brand and I've seen this brand before. My sisters have it. Um, and one of my good friends has it. Um, and it is a cute little backpack. So this is Liz, um, I'm going to botch her name. Caleb, I, I, I'm just going to say it. it's Liz. It, they can, Liz, Cal, I'm going to say botch, Calaborian, Calaborian. Anyways, um, my sister, I'm really in backpacks. I have like two, three. Maybe two, three. So I have like three backpacks, and this is one that I've never seen before. And I really liked it, and I thought it was really cute. So, it's originally 60 bucks. I got it for 30 I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, so I saved quite a bit. I saved half. So this was cut in half on price. So I was like, fuck, I'm getting it. Now, unfortunately, just had, they just had signed that says sale, which I freaking hate. Dumb, because all they had on this was the original price which is $60. So I went to their website and it said that it was 30. So I went up to the, I went up to one of the cashiers and he's like, is this actually for sale or is it, do you guys, I basically just said, oh, you guys just have a sale sign around. You don't have the display. And I was like, and it looked like it was on a clearance rack. And I was like, I just want to know how much it is because if it's too much, I'm not going to buy it. So I told her that and she rang it up and she's like, it's 32. Hey guys, so it is around 4 o'clock now, um, Chad and I are going to get ready to go to dinner. We're just going to get some takeout and bring it back here and watch some more football. Football is on, I just want to make sure that I do this right and I don't do it with interruptions in my house. So, um, if you all don't know, I dyed my hair. Um, in most of my tutorials, I, am bl I used to be blonde, but now I'm dark haired. Um, summer I lighten it. And then fall, I darken it. Um, I didn't, I just darkened it a little bit. I didn't, I just cut a couple inches, but that's about it. Um, I like, the, actually like it this length, so I'm going to keep it this length. I'm not going to grow it back out. I think I'm just going to leave it this length. Um, in, in my old videos, you guys saw that I did have really, really long hair. And I've had long hair for years. And I did that because my boyfriend really likes long hair. But he has decided to do what he wants with his hair. Which is shaving it bald, which I don't like. I, I, he's, he's anal about his hair. I'm sorry, uh, and unfortunately, I am telling him from now on that if you do whatever you want with your hair, I'm gonna do whatever I want with my hair. So I um cut my hair really really short, and um, he was not happy about that. So he has lost. So it is dark brown again, and it is no, no highlights, and it's dark brown. So, um, last check-in. Uh, lipstick's hit it, still holding up really fine. I haven't done any. I've been drinking out of, I've been drinking hard mics, so they're bottles. So, kind of a common way, but it's still pretty pigmented. Um, I can see the redness coming through. Eyeshadows hold up pretty good, but I haven't been rubbing my face. I've been hanging out with my dogs. Um, you can see the acne that was on my face earlier last week is still kind of coming creeping through. But other than that, this foundation has held up really well. I really like this foundation, and I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is probably one of my favorite drugstores besides um, Ulta. I think Ulta has it. Um, if you go to Ulta, you can try it out. Fortunately, at Walmart and stuff like that, you cannot. But I went to Ulta and I looked at this stuff and then I left and then I bought it up here in the shade I needed. So in Dream Moose, I am 20 Classic Ivory. But in CoverGirl, I am Buff Beige. So there's different names to different products. You're all going to be in different shades, like in something. I'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, please subscribe down at the bottom if you like this video. If you didn't like this video, if you don't like me, I really don't care. This is what I like doing about makeup. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Thank you.